Hello, my name is Aaron, and welcome to Board Games, Bricks, and Hobbies. This is a series where I take a look at one of the board games in my collection and give my thoughts about it. I'll talk about my likes and dislikes, as well as if I think the game is going to stay in my collection. Today, we're taking a look at Pandemic. Now, obviously this game has seen a surge in popularity uh, due to the current events, uh, but I took a liking to it well before that, and uh, spoiler alert, I do think it's a good game. Uh, so before we get into the likes and dislikes, let's have a brief look at what's in the box. So, what do I like about the game? Well, for starters, I find it to be a very enjoyable and approachable cooperative game. Uh, now, if you're not familiar with that term, uh, essentially what it means is that you are working together as a group to defeat the game, uh, meaning everyone will win or lose together. Uh, and it was one of the first cooperative games that I played, and I still think it's one of the stronger uh, games out there, uh, both design-wise and just uh, thematically. Uh, I find it to be very approachable and easy to teach. Um, that's part of the benefit of being a cooperative game is that uh, you can just have one person that knows the rules, and they can kind of just go around and teach everyone. Uh, without kind of feeling like they're helping other people uh, because it, in a, a typical non-cooperative game, uh, if you just have one person that's played before, uh, it can kind of feel like you're helping people to try and win. Uh, you're like, you should do this because that's the best thing for you. Uh, but in this case, uh, when you're helping people, uh, you're all winning or losing together. Uh, so makes it easy to teach, uh, easy for new players. Uh, and uh, a second thing that I really like about the game is just the whole puzzle aspect of the game. Uh, now, some critics of the game uh, call it just random number generator the game, uh, but I find the whole just puzzle aspect of figuring out your next move and uh, your next action and which diseases you're going to cure next and trying to maximize your actions every turn. Uh, I really find that uh, and just really fun to kind of puzzle it out uh, with the help of other players, of course, and just makes for just a really fun game, in my opinion. Now, the Last thing that I want to touch on that I really do like about the game uh, are the expansions. Uh, now, as of this time, there have been three expansions for the main game, uh, as well as a handful of other spin-offs. Uh, but for the main game itself, uh, there have been three expansions. Uh, I own the first two, and I really like that they are modular. And what that means is that uh, you don't have to add everything in at once, uh, so you're not just adding all of this new stuff. You're not adding a whole layer uh, to the game. You can just add little bits and pieces. And uh, a lot of them can be combined, uh, but I just like the fact that you can kind of just pick and choose. Uh, you can play with a slightly different rule for how the disease spreads, or you can play uh, with a slightly different rule for how to cure the disease. Uh, and it just adds more replay value uh, to an already great game. Uh, so I do really like the expansions. Uh, now with that, let's go into anything that I dislike about the game. So, 
What do I dislike about Pandemic? Well, personally, I don't really think there's anything that I strongly dislike about the game. Uh, as I said, I find it to be solid uh, both mechanically and just uh, presentation-wise. Uh, so the components are cohesive, uh, nothing just stands out. Uh, it's a very well-done package overall. Uh, but one critique might be that uh, there can be a sort of alpha gamer problem, uh, which is not uncommon in cooperative games. Uh, and this one is not really a problem for me uh, because I think it's mostly group dependent. And I just um, haven't really had a group where this problem exists. Uh, but I could see some situations where uh, one player who thinks that they know what to do and thinks that they know the best strategies, just kind of directing everyone and trying to uh, have people uh, do what they think is best uh, and not just have their own ideas about what strategies to use. Uh, and again, it's not something I've really seen, uh, but I could potentially see that uh, being a problem uh, for some groups. Uh, so that's Pandemic. Uh, with that, let's go ahead and move on to my final thoughts. So what's my final verdict on Pandemic? Uh, well, clearly I like the game uh, and it's not going anywhere. Uh, I really just think it's a solid game all the way around, uh, from its components to its mechanics uh, and its theme. It's just all very well done and just comes in a solid package. Uh, and it was kind of one of the first cooperative games to make it big and it still holds up today. Uh, and since it was one of the first, it kind of paved the way for uh, so many games that came after. Uh, if you look at cooperative games, uh, there are so many games now where you just have, uh, you take your actions and then you draw cards from a deck to see what bad thing happens. Uh, and that's kind of something that I think Pandemic pioneered. Uh, and it's just a really good game. Uh, if you do like the game uh, and you you own it, I would recommend hunting down uh, some of the expansions. Uh, they're definitely worth it for replayability and just throwing a little spice in there. Um, so let me know your thoughts, because uh, those were mine, uh, but let me know what you think about the game uh, in the comments. Uh, when did you first hear about the game Pandemic? Um, do you like the game? Uh, what are some other cooperative games that you might like? Uh, let me know down in the comments. And thank you for watching the video. I hope to see you again in another one. Take care. Bye.